So setting the stage for the cloud business case. Um, first of all, I think all of us tend to think of a project as a discrete beginning and end. And one of the things that I think is just super important to take away from this is that this isn't a one and done. In other words, it's kind of a continuous iterative process, right? Think about 15, 20 years ago, everything was moving to client server and the internet. Uh, and, you know, this is the next big thing. Um, we're going back to the 80s or 90s service bureau uh, in some in some ways. So you can kind of start anywhere in this circle here on the left, but you're never going to quote unquote finish, although you might uh, end up in uh, wrapping up discrete steps along the way. Uh, so, you know, you can you can win the battles, but not always the war, I guess, is maybe the way you might want to think about it. Um, and the steps that we always talk about are kind of assessing situations, turning pain points, recruiting stakeholders, um, researching and documenting those issues, defining a project and creating the business case. And we're very focused on that top left hand box today, but all of these steps are really important in terms of getting a cloud initiative going. So first of all, solution needs definition. And if you're hearing any of these items mentioned, you probably need a new solution or process, especially in the world of the cloud. So complaints about multiple versions of the truth and too many emails with spreadsheet and PDF reports in them. This is very, very true in the EPM arena where folks are planning, budgeting, consolidating, and usually living in antiquated spreadsheet or SpreadMart or access database models. Uh, that no longer really meet the needs for collaboration and sharing um, across the enterprise. The second is, um, you know, there's been a huge move in the analytics market in the last few years towards business self-service, and you may still be stuck in a model where IT has to create all your business intelligence reports or all your financial reports, and business people can't access information or manipulate it themselves. Um, Another big issue we see, amazingly, is that folks are living on off-support solutions. So they're living on on-prem solutions that they don't want to upgrade, don't want to patch, and all of a sudden browsers don't work, or uh, the latest version of Microsoft Office doesn't work with it. That's a no-brainer in terms of a justification to help move. And finally, you might own an on-premises solution from a previous Oracle acquisition, you know, Oracle Hyperion, um, meaning planning, financial reports, smart view, web analysis, Brio, um, and you want to expand into newer technologies or capabilities like data visualization or predictive planning, maybe semantic analysis, in other words, analyzing words to see trends, um, machine learning, adaptive or autonomous is the big word these days, and intelligence, things that just simply weren't offered in these tools because they weren't available yet on premises, and they're now available in the newest solutions in the cloud. Um, the next thing you want to think about, obviously, is determining what you're trying to achieve with this effort, your vision and goals. So going back to your reasons for doing the initiative, kind of what's driving the conversation when you're meeting with folks? How are you going to position that? Your prep work in this goes a long way. Um, think about when you're driving to work in the morning and you change your route. Say you move your house or you move your office. Maybe your favorite coffee shop, your favorite Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts changes location, um, and you're on the phone or not paying attention, you find yourself going back to the pattern of driving the way you used to without even thinking. We're pattern-based animals. We like doing things efficiently and effectively, which means we go on autopilot. And so nobody wants to change because by their very nature, humans are pattern-oriented and, and like their routines. So people are going to be unpleasantly surprised even if they're desiring the change. And so you really have to sell it to them. Work will somehow get easier, better, more efficient or effective, or you're going to force them into it. And you'd really rather be the former than the latter. 